Uh, good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. It is uh, 12.22 San Antonio time. Um, hope all of y'all up there in the northeast are, are warm. I know that y'all are supposed to get some really, really bad weather. Um, I can't see my temperature gauge from here, but uh, I know the sun's out here and it's going to be nice. And I wouldn't say warm and toasty, but I think we're supposed to be in the 60s here. But uh, anyway, the reason for this morning's video is it's a response to Chuck at uh, That Car Guy channel. Uh, if you don't follow Chuck, you're not sub to Chuck, uh, I'm going to put his uh, the link to his channel in the description below. So you can just click on that and check that out. Uh, go check him out. He's really new to the community. I think he only has like 45 subs. But uh, he put a, a uh, question out to the community uh, to... Uh, what inspires you to build? Um, I watched the video last night uh, putting out the challenge and uh, thought about it a lot. And, uh, you know, I couldn't come up with a definitive answer except for to say that, uh, you know, I, I, what inspires my builds are a lot of the one to one cars that uh, um, I like. Uh, <clears throat> you know, sometimes a kid will come out. Uh, for example, the Opal that I showed not that long ago, where I, I'll, I'll pick up the kit, and I don't really know the car. I've never seen that Opal before. Like I said, it looked like a Chevy Cavalier. But I really thought, looking at the box top, same thing with the Ducati that I showed in the Throwback Thursday, not this week, but last week. I thought, man, that is a really cool-looking ride. And uh, bought it, built it, you know, enjoyed both those builds. <coughs> but the box art... Well, the box art was the inspiration for those builds. Uh, I'd say most of the other builds, uh, the inspiration is one-to-one. -one. Uh, sometimes even into picking colors. Uh, I'll go to coffee co coffee and cars uh, here in San Antonio pretty frequently. Um, we average about 1,500 cars. and a lot of the, There's been a lot of exotics, like, for example, Ferrari. Uh, Ferraris I, I, I like to build if I can. Two of the same car, for example, like uh, if you've been following the channel, I uh, did two 488s recently. I did one in red because personally, if I were to ever have a Ferrari, I know some of y'all don't like it, but I love red on tin. It's just what a Ferrari kind of symbolizes to me, but I also love other colors. Um, I built my second 488 in white and uh, because I'd, I'd seen a, a white one at Coffee and Cars, had a blue interior, and I just thought, Wow, that really looks really looks cool. So much better than uh, like red. I mean, white on red, uh, which is you know the typical interior color for red. I mean for white. So uh, you know things like that inspire me, um, and that, that's probably the biggest inspiration is just uh, the one to one cars I see. Uh, kind of like going back to coffee and cars. I've got. Uh, on my short list, and I've wanted to build them for like two, three years now. Just haven't made the, the point to put them on the bench. Um, I've got four uh, Ayoshima Urcons. Um, all four of them, I've got the paint already bought for. And the paint was inspired by one-to-one one, one, -to -one Urcons that I saw at Coffee and Cars. That I thought, you know, that's a really cool color, and, you know, I'm going to build one like that. So, um... But anyway, you know, I hope that uh, answers your question, Chuck. Uh, any of the other, anybody else out there in the community want to answer his uh, question? Go, go, uh, you know, make a video. Tell us what inspires you to do your builds. Um, and uh, go check out Chuck. Uh, like I said, I'll put his uh, his uh, link to his channel in the description below. All right, guys, y'all take care. Have a great weekend and uh, stay warm. Those of you in that. Uh, Winter storm. All right, y'all take care. Bye-bye.